our uh, relationship with UD in, in basketball, I, I give Don Donaher a lot of credit for that. He really pushed, I'm sure, some of his superiors to, uh, to do it. And they had told us, well, when you guys are Division I, we'll play. And he honored his word, and, and that's how it all got started. Of course, came the several years of the Gem City Jam. It was a popular event in the community. It was a guaranteed sellout. Wright State folks were excited. The community was excited. You know, it was all over the Dayton Daily News. We were a newly minted Division One program. It really showed and reminded people now we're at the same level as the long running program in town. The build up to the Wright State UD games from the very beginning was huge because you had Wright State fans who felt like they were second fiddle and this was their opportunity to prove we can play with these guys. They see the wins, you know, we're in the paper just like they are, but we got something pretty special going on here but they didn't even acknowledge us. The first time we played them, we got it handed to us. They beat us by about 25 or 26. A couple years later, you know, we, we got our chance to, to play with them and we were much better prepared. I remember quotes leading up to that game from their star, Nigel Knight, from a, a, a guard of ours out of New York City named Ty Cromwell, I believe, who had quotes about, uh, you know, we're not Division II anymore, they think we are, and we went into that game with blood in our eye. We were definitely confident as players. You know, we were young, but you know, when you're young, you're always confident and cocky. You know, this is UD, we're going to beat UD. You know, that, that was our mentality. Wright State beats crosstown rival Dayton 101-99 at the UD Arena. Marcus Mumphrey throws me the ball and go up from inside the foul line and dunk it. You know, that kind of sealed the deal. I will always remember a 101-99 win over UD. Wow. On their floor? Wow. Was that a recollection? Obviously, I uh, lament the, that passing, and um, I understand why UD did it, but I don't respect it. I ain't a UD fan, so you can cut that out. <laughs> but it's truth. Do I think the Gem City Jam will be rekindled? Yes, I do. I'm a never say never guy. I've got a lot of respect for their program and how they do business, but I like our trajectory very much right now, and I think that game is inevitable at some point in the future.